अगेन वेलकम टू केमोहॉलिक आज इस वीडियो में हम बात करने वाले हैं टाइप्स ऑफ केमिकल रिएक्शंस की सो so, देर ना करते हुए चलिए स्टार्ट करते हैं टाइप्स ऑफ केमिकल रिएक्शंस सो so, इसके पहले वीडियो में हमने जब बात की थी तो हमने बात की थी कि केमिकल रिएक्शंस क्या होता है सो so, केमिकल रिएक्शन वो होता है जिसमें कुछ ना कुछ केमिकल चेंजेस हों चेंजेस ऐसे चेंज हों जो परमानेंट चेंज होने चाहिए ये सारे बात हमने की थी अब इस वीडियो में हम बात करेंगे टाइप्स ऑफ केमिकल रिएक्शंस की कि ये ये कितने टाइप के केमिकल रिएक्शंस होते हैं और वो कैसे फॉर्म uh, करते हैं तो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ केमिकल रिएक्शंस सो बेसिकली देर आर फाइव टाइप्स ऑफ केमिकल रिएक्शंस कैन बी सीन इन दिस केस इन योर केस इन इन योर सिलेबस यू विल फाइंड दैट फाइव टाइप ऑफ केमिकल रिएक्शंस द कॉम्बिनेशन रिएक्शन डीकम्पोजिशन रिएक्शन सिंगल डिसप्लेसमेंट रिएक्शन डबल डिसप्लेसमेंट रिएक्शन एंड रेडॉक्स रिएक्शन ओके सो कॉम्बिनेशन रिएक्शन डीकम्पोजिशन रिएक्शन सिंगल डीकम्पोजिशन डिस्प्लेसमेंट रिएक्शन डबल डिस्प्लेसमेंट रिएक्शन एंड रिडॉक्स रिएक्शन लेट्स एक्सप्लोर दीज टॉपिक्स इन डिटेल ओके इफ विल टॉक अबाउट कॉम्बिनेशन रिएक्शन इन केस ऑफ कॉम्बिनेशन रिएक्शन वेन टू और मोर सब्सटेंसेस टू और मोर रिएक्टेंट आर कंबाइन टूगेदर टू फॉर्म वन और मोर प्रोडक्ट two or more reactant combine together to form one or more product we can see over here uh, like uh, calcium and ox uh, calcium and water are combining together to form one product okay calcium hydroxide same way we can get over here that is here it should be two calcium hydroxide okay uh, same way if we are having over here that uh, calcium ox uh, uh, sorry carbon plus oxygen gives us carbon dioxide oxide so in case of carbon dioxide uh, see this two should be up over here it seems like something software error so what we can say over here carbon plus oxygen gives us carbon dioxide and they are generally exothermic in nature they in uh, they evolve uh, they uh, evolve the heat during the reaction so what what do we mean we mean by one more words coming over here that is what exothermic the word exothermic tells us about the when the reaction in which heat energy is given off if the heat energy is given out can be called as a exothermic reaction so what we are understanding from this combination reaction is a reaction in which two reactants are combined to form one product we can see over here the two reactant two reactants will combine to form one product so uh, what we can say this uh, type of reaction can be called as a combination reaction here some reactions are given if you will see it properly you will be getting in this uh, in this reaction there is a heat energy is evolving out so such reactions can be termed as a exothermic reaction as well as in this one in this uh, example you can see the third diagram you can see there is what here you can see hydrogen gas is coming and from this side this uh, this chamber the oxygen gas is coming and once they are combining together they are releasing lots of heat energy they are releasing out lots of heat energy and and the water molecules are coming out so can we say this thing that h2 plus o2 h2 plus o2 will gives us uh, uh, h2 plus o2 will gives us h2o so this type of reaction can be termed as a combination reaction and in this process the lots of heat energy will be released okay the next reaction comes that is what decomposition reaction decomposition reaction is a reaction in which it's a type of reaction in which a single reactant break down to give us simpler product are called as a decomposition reaction single uh, reactant you can see there is a ab ab is a one molecule and they are getting dissociate into a and b so we can say ab is one molecule undergoing dissociation into a and b so same thing h2o is one molecule which undergoes dissociation in hydrogen and oxygen so we can say such reactions are decomposition reaction decomposition reaction mein generally kya hota hai ki do atoms hote hain do atoms ek sath mein attach hote hain और जब दोनों एटम एक साथ में अटैच होकर एक मॉलिक्यूल बने होते हैं और वो जब टूटते हैं तो इस प्रक्रिया को हम डिकम्पोजिशन रिएक्शन कहते हैं सो इट्स अ टाइप ऑफ रिएक्शन इन विच देर इज अ डिसोशिएशन आकर so such reactions uh, when decomposition reaction occur carried out uh, by heating it is known as a thermal decomposition reaction suppose if i am breaking something in presence of heat 
so that can be called as a thermal decomposition reaction if i'm breaking in presence of electricity so that can be called as a electrical decomposition reaction so basically decomposition reaction can if it is a broken down in presence of sunlight if something is broken down if some molecule is broken down in presence of sunlight can be called as a photolytic therm uh, thermal decomposition reaction uh, sorry photolytic decomposition reaction so there is what if it is a uh, broken down in presence of light can be called as a photolytic decomposition reaction if it is a uh, broken down in presence of electricity can be called as, can be called as a electro uh, electrolytic decomposition reaction and thermal decomposition reaction if it is he uh, heated and dissociated if we talk we, we have some example over here hydrogen peroxide you can see in case of hydrogen peroxide is dissociated in presence of water and oxygen gas okay so it is undergoing dissociation to produce uh, water and oxygen gas so this can be termed as the decomposition reaction you can get the water molecule uh, in presence of when uh, will pass the electricity in presence of electricity you will be getting that h2 and o2 are forming so what you can say this reaction this dissociation is happening decomposition is happening happening but uh, uh, this decomposition is happening in presence of electricity so this can be called as a electrolytic decomposition reaction if any reaction if suppose ab is heated heated to get the ab a plus b so i can term it as a uh, thermal decomposition reaction so generally thermal decomposition reaction is a reaction which well uh, undergoes decomposition uh, on the basis of heat once we'll heat the molecule it will dissociate now the next uh, type of reaction comes that is displacement reaction reaction in which a more reactive element one more reactive element displaces the less reactive element from its solution is known as a displacement reaction so what is displacement reaction displacement reaction see uh, this why this displacement happen or why this dissociation has happening they see in every reaction uh, the reactant always tending towards to form the more stable compounds they always thinks to get the more stable compound that's why the dissociation happen like in case of the previous one the combination happen in the previous one we discussed the combination reaction the combination happen in case of uh, dissociation we discuss about the decomposition will happen why this all uh, reactions are happening just because of that the, the reactant becomes even more stable uh, even they become more stable on dissociation or combination or displacement so in case of displacement there is already exist of the uh, compound is there but that compound uh, once it is treated with some more reactive element so what the more reactive element will displace the less reactive element to form the more stable compound that's why the uh, displacement reaction happen this displacement is possible for two type of reaction that is single displacement reaction and double displacement reaction two type is possible single displacement and double displacement reactions are possible let's understand what is single displacement reaction and what is double displacement reactions in case of single displacement reaction as you can see over here there was a uh, there uh, there is an element magnesium treated with copper sulfate to form uh, magnesium sulfate and copper okay in this case if you'll observe it closely you are getting the sulfate magnesium is displacing out the copper magnesium is displacing out the copper to form magnesium sulfate means the magnesium sulfate substance here the magnesium uh, sulfate salt is more stable than the copper sulfate as copper was electropositive magnesium was electropositive sulfate was electronegative but sulfate is more stable extra stable with magnesium or we can say in a common language hum baat kar sakte hain ki sulfate magnesium ke sath zyada comfortable hai jitna ki wo copper ke sath tha to copper sulfate ke case mein sulfate copper ke sath utna comfortable nahi tha jitna ki magnesium ke sath tha hum bol sakte hain ki sulfate magnesium ka bahut acha dost hai jaise jitna wo copper ka hai copper se kam hai matlab copper ki reactivity magnesium se kam hai iski wajah se magnesium sulfate zyada stable compound banata hai that's why the displacement will happen if i am asking a question over here if i am giving uh, the magnesium sulfate plus copper will the reaction will happen magnesium sulfate plus copper will the reaction will happen no obviously not why because the sulfate is happy with the magnesium 
it will not want to go with the copper uh, because copper sulfate is less stable salt than the magnesium sulfate that's why the reaction will not happen so here single displacement reaction is a reaction in which more reactive element is displacing the less reactive element in case of double displacement reaction we can see over here the calcium carbonate calcium carbonate is treated with hydrochloric acid the chlorine and calcium what they will do they will calcium is more positive than the hydrogen okay hydrogen is electropositive even calcium is positive so in this case chlorine will go to uh, calcium and that there will be the displacement will occur even hydrogen will go to carbonate so we can we'll be getting the two substance calcium chloride and hydrogen carbonate so two substance are forming so we can say if two molecules are combining uh, by displacing each other's ion so they can be they are forming the double displacement reaction single displacement reaction in case of single displacement reaction we can have one more compound we are having suppose if we are having example in this case uh, lead chloride uh, treated with ki potassium iodide so in case of this thing cl will be displaced to form the uh, lead iodide even in case of double uh, displacement reaction if we are having k2co3 k2co3 is what potassium carbonate and the barium chloride so you can you know well that uh, in case of potassium in case of potassium potassium is more positive and the carbonate group is lesser negative as compared to the chlorine and barium is less positive as compared to the potassium so what will happen the barium will go with the carbonate and the calcium uh, sorry potassium will go with the chlorine to form 2 kcl and baco3 baco3 is barium carbonate so you will be able to get the precipitate during this process so double displacement reaction one more uh, property of the double displacement reaction is what when the stable salt form they are forming the precipitate of that but question again arise over here why uh, this all uh, displacement double displacement single displacement these all reactions are happening why this all is happening so the reason behind this is what the reactivity series the reactivity series there are the element some react some elements are more reactive some elements are less reactive and due to uh, due to on the basis of the reactivity series it is all happening so uh, for exam point of view or for your uh, further study you need to uh, know about this reactivity series even uh, I just gave few example of the displacement reaction and double displacement reaction in a case if they are asking in your exam if they are asking such question uh, which you are unaware about the molecule on the basis of reactivity series itself you will be able to find the answer that uh, which one is more positive and which one is more negative kind of so you can get the reactivity series in case of reactivity series there is a series the potassium is most reactive and the platinum is the least reactive if you will get the series you're getting potassium sodium calcium magnesium uh, carbon zinc uh, iron tin lead hydrogen copper silver gold and platinum so you are getting the platinum platinum uh, there are many questions that people are asking uh, in a uh, in a board exam also they have asked the question why silver and gold silver gold platinum are used to make the ornaments why these uh, metals are used to make the ornaments so the very simple answer is there that uh, ornaments we are wearing in our ear uh, even we are wearing in our neck so they should not react with our body they should not react with uh, our skin so uh, these elements are having less least reactivity you can see the gold silver and platinum are having the lesser reactivity they are less reactive that's why they are used for making the ornaments so they are asking question on the basis of reactivity series even they ask like why uh, calcium uh, uh, if calcium uh, chloride is treated with a silver nitrate or something why this reaction will not happen or kind of there they'll ask such kind of things on the basis of reactivity series so you need to answer on the basis of reactivity series so you have to remember this series the potassium sodium calcium magnesium aluminium uh, carbon zinc iron tin lead 
hydrogen uh, copper silver gold and platinum okay uh, you can remember up ye wali jo series hai ise aap apne code bhasha mein bhi yaad rakh sakte hain jaise ki aap potassium kuch aap naam de sakte hain calcium natrium like wise ab you can aap koi ek naam deke aap apne ek series bana sakte hain ya fir koi sangeet ke bhasha mein ya tone ke bhasha mein aap put kar sakte hain aur use dekh sakte hain google pe net pe to bahut sare aisi aise codes available हैं रिएक्टिविटी सीरीज के लिए उसमें से जिस पे आप कंफर्टेबल हैं एक बार उसे देख लीजिए क्योंकि ये रिएक्टिविटी सीरीज बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट है आपके एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ये बहुत रोल अच्छा रोल प्ले करेगी एक और बात इसमें है कि कुछ क्वेश्चन ऐसे भी आते हैं जिसमें आपको वो भले ही अलग टॉपिक से हों लेकिन रिएक्टिविटी सीरीज आपको बहुत मदद कर देगी ये पता लगाने के लिए कि किसका डिस्प्लेसमेंट होगा किसका नहीं होगा ये सारी चीज़ों के लिए तो वंस अगेन आई एम टेलिंग यू रिएक्टिविटी सीरीज इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यू हैव टू गो थ्रू विद दिस एंड यू हैव टू मेक श्योरली यू नीड टू मेक द नोट्स फॉर दिस ओके अगला रिएक्शन आता है रेडॉक्स रिएक्शन रेडॉक्स रिएक्शन इज अ रिएक्शन इन विच द आंसर इट सेल्फ इज लाइंग इन दिस रेड ऑक्स द टू वर्ड इज देर रेड एंड ऑक्स रेड मीन्स रिडक्शन एंड ऑक्स मीन्स oxidation so here a reaction in which there is a reduction as well as oxidation both are happening can be called as a redox reaction reduction as well as oxidation both are happening can be called as a redox reaction before dealing with the redox reaction we should understand what is re uh, reduction and what is oxidation please make a note that uh, oxidation oxidation is a reaction in which there is a addition of oxygen so you can say addition of oxygen okay addition of oxygen or you can say removal of hydrogen addition of oxygen or removal of hydrogen can be called as a redox uh, sorry oxidation even you can say you can say if any reaction which gains the electron uh, which lost the loss uh, loses the electron can be called as oxidation for example suppose if i am having sodium suppose if i am having sodium sodium if sodium is losing its electron to become na plus so which reaction it is so you will say it's ionization it is not a reaction or kind of things you will say but uh, i will tell you this is oxidation reaction a reaction in which there is any element uh, or any any element loses its electron can be called as a oxidation reaction so oxidation reaction can be defined as there is a four definitions are there for oxidation reaction definition number 1 says that there is a uh, addition of hydrogen uh, removal of uh, sorry addition of oxygen removal of hydrogen loss of electron and gain in oxidation number again i'm telling you gain in oxidation number oxidation number is gaining for example sodium was zero charge initially sodium was having zero charge once it get oxidized na plus plus one charge it becomes suppose magnesium is zero charge once it is getting oxidized it will become mg2 plus so plus two charge so oxidation number is increasing in this case so once the oxidation will happen their oxidation number will increase so you should know it about that so and same way vice versa we can say for opposite for that is a reduction in case of reduction removal of uh, oxygen and addition of hydrogen so you can note it removal of oxygen and addition of hydrogen can be called as a reduction again the gain of electron can be called as a, a reduction and loss in oxidation number can be called as a reduction so you just please make a note that is what what is oxidation what is reduction two main things are there again i'm repeating oxidation वह होता है जिसमें ऑक्सीजन ऐड होता है और हाइड्रोजन रिमूव होता है रिडक्शन वो होता है जिसमें हाइड्रोजन ऐड होता है और ऑक्सीजन रिमूव होता है ये दो मैंने क्राइटेरिया बता दिया दो इलेक्ट्रॉन वाली क्राइटेरिया भी बताया मैंने कि रिडक्शन वो होता है जिसमें इलेक्ट्रॉन का गेन होता है एनी स्पीशीज विच गेन इलेक्ट्रॉन जैसे कि क्लोरिन हो गया क्लोरीन की वैलेंसी होती है टू क्लोरीन वैलेंसी इज वन बट टोटल नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन कैन बी रिटर्न एस टू एट एंड सेवन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन कैन बी रिटर्न एस टू एट सेवन क्लोरीन का अगर क्लोरीन एक इलेक्ट्रॉन लेके स्थायी हो जाता है स्टेबल हो जाता है तो हम कहते हैं कि क्लोरीन ने अपना ऑक्सीडेशन कर लिया सॉरी रिडक्शन कर लिया 
क्लोरीन ने अपना रिडक्शन कर लिया क्योंकि उसने इलेक्ट्रॉन को गेन किया है अगर कोई इलेमेंट अपने इलेक्ट्रॉन को लूज करता है जैसे कि सोडियम अपना एक इलेक्ट्रॉन लूज करता है तो हम बोलते हैं कि सोडियम ने अपने आप का ऑक्सीडेशन कर दिया अगर सोडियम क्लोराइड हो जाता है तो सोडियम क्लोराइड के दौरान सोडियम अपना एक इलेक्ट्रॉन लूज करता है और क्लोरीन एक इलेक्ट्रॉन गेन करता है ऐसी स्थिति में सोडियम का ऑक्सीडेशन हो जाता है और क्लोरीन का रिडक्शन हो जाता है तो सोडियम और, और क्लोरीन को ऐड करने के बाद जो सोडियम क्लोराइड बनता है ये पूरा रिएक्शन एक रेडॉक्स रिएक्शन प्रक्रिया में आता है सो रेडॉक्स रिएक्शन फिर से मैं बताता हूँ रेडॉक्स रिएक्शन इज अ सब्सटेंस गेन्स ऑक्सीडेशन ड्यूरिंग द रिएक्शन इट सेट एज अट टू बी ऑक्सीडाइज एंड इफ अब्सटेंस लूजेज ऑक्सीडेशन ड्यूरिंग ऑक्सीजन ड्यूरिंग द रिएक्शन इट्स टू बी रिड्यूस so reaction in which the type uh, of the change occur in known as oxidation and reduction both is called as a redox reaction you can see there is a example given over here copper plus uh, uh, h2cu uh, plus h2o gives us uh, no i think there is a error uh, some error in this equation so we can have the example as we discussed the example in the previous uh previous example we discussed that is a sodium plus chlorine gives a sodium chloride okay there is one more term can be called as a rancidity ओके okay, आप सभी ने नोटिस किया होगा जब आप कोई लेस का पैकेट खरीदते हैं या फिर बालाजी का पैकेट खरीदते हैं या वेफर्स की कोई भी वेफर्स के पैकेट जब आप खरीदते हैं तो उसमें ढेर सारी हवा भरी होती है हमें क्या लगता है कि कंपनियां हमें फूल बना रही हैं या फिर हमें ऐसा कर रही हैं कि ज़्यादा गैस भर के दे रही हैं वेफर्स कम दे रही हैं ऐसा हमें लगता है लेकिन उसमें क्या आपने पता किया उसमें कौन सी गैस होती है क्यों वो गैस भरी जाती है तो इसका आंसर है रेंसिडिटी रेंसिडिटी इज़ अ टर्म वेन यू विल कीप द फूड और ऑयली फूड और तले हुए ऐसे फूड हैं या फिर ऐसे फूड्स हैं वो क्या होते हैं जब जब उनको आप लंबे समय तक रखते हैं तो वो रैंसिड हो जाते हैं मीन्स दे अंडर गोज ऑक्सीडेशन दे डू दे रिएक्ट विद ऑक्सीजन प्रजेंट इन दिस सराउंडिंग वो जो फूड्स होते हैं वो ज़्यादा दिन तक आप बादाम हो ज़्यादा दिन तक आप रखो खराब हो जाएगा रैंसिड हो जाएगा अब पीनट्स हैं उन्हें ज़्यादा दिन तक आप रखो वो खराब हो जाएंगे रैंसिड हो जाएंगे अगर ऑयल है ज़्यादा दिन तक रखो तो उसके टेस्ट अलग आने लगते हैं महकने लगता है आप आ, आ, कोई आ, जैसे स्नैक्स वगैरह है स्नैक्स काइंड ऑफ नमकीन वगैरह है अगर आप उसे ज़्यादा दिन तक रखेंगे तो आपको एक अजीब सी दुर्गंध आने लगती है उसके अंदर ऐसा क्यों होता है जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ दैट द एयर प्रजेंट इन आर सराउंडिंग एयर प्रजेंट इन दिस सराउंडिंग इज कंटेनिंग ऑक्सीजन एंड दीज ऑक्सीजन आर रिएक्टिंग विद दैट पर्टिकुलर सब्सटेंस दैट पर्टिकुलर फूड एंड वंस इट इज रिएक्टिंग इट अंडर इट डू ऑक्सीडेशन इट ऑक्सीडाइज द पर्टिकुलर सब्सटेंस एंड हेंस द ऑक्सीडेशन हैपन to prevent this oxida uh, oxidation in foods what we do during packing we are uh, flushing the nitrogen gas in the chips packet so what we are doing that we are flushing the nitrogen gas in the chips packet so it uh, nitrogen act as an inert gas nitrogen gas act as an inert gas and due to that uh, it it not allows to react the oxygen present in the surrounding and hence uh, it prevents our food hence you can see in our uh, the wrappers uh, chips wrappers are containing they are containing lots of uh, gases inside and the gas is what nitrogen gas so wo gas kaun si hoti hai nitrogen gas hoti hai jo ki aapke food ko surakshit rakhne ke liye di gayi rehti bhari gayi rehti hai usme तो ये एक कारण है रेंसिडिटी का तो इसके ऊपर एक क्वेश्चन आता है जनरली बोर्ड में क्वेश्चन आता है कि व्हाई नाइट्रोजन गैस इज फ्लस इन द चिप्स पैकेट और व्हाट इज रेंसिडिटी एक्सप्लेन और इन केस ऑफ रेंसिडिटी व्हिच रिएक्शन हैपेंस सो यू शुड आंसर रेंसिडिटी इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ स्पॉइलिंग ऑफ द फूड एंड दिस स्पॉइलेज ऑफ द फूड हैपन ड्यू टू ऑक्सीडेशन ऑफ द फूड वी कैन से नाइट्रोजन गैस इज फ्लस इन द चिप्स रैपर जस्ट टू प्रिवेंट द ऑक्सीडेशन बिकॉज नाइट्रोजन गैस एक्ट एज एन इनोट इन नेचर अगला पॉइंट है कोरोजन एंड इट्स मेजर आप सबको पता होगा रस्टिंग या कोरोजन आप सबको पता होगा कि जैसे लोहे में जंग लग जाता है या फिर ऊपर से कोटिंग हो जाती है आप एल्यूमिनियम के बर्तन देखेंगे तो ऊपर से काला काला परत जमने लगता है आप चांदी या सिल्वर की कोई बर्तन देखेंगे तो उस पर हल्का हल्का परत जमने लगता है ये परत होती क्या है दिस परत ये जो ऊपर के लेयर जो बन जाती है ये लेयर खुद एक ऑक्सीडाइज पार्ट है सो एनी मेटल मेटल अंडर गोज ऑक्सीडाइज मेटल अंडर गोज ऑक्सीडेशन 
so once they are undergoing oxidation they are uh, forming oxide of it on the layer of the metal on the surface of the metal so they are uh, forming the oxides of that it is this process is a redox process under this process oxidation and reduction both happens and deterioration of metal happen metal undergoes deterioration there the breaking of the metal will happen we have a good example of that is rusting of iron you must have seen on your grills on uh, which is uh, there in outside so you can see on that particular grills there is a, a, a kind of layer uh, the brown color layer you will be finding this layer is nothing but what it's a, a rusting iron iron oxide so oxidative product of iron you will be getting so that is what corrosion they ask what will be the measures for that how you will prevent the corrosion uh, from the metal generally question aate hain ki aap uh, corrosion ko kaise prevent karoge kaise bachaoge corrosion se मेटल्स uh, को कैसे बचाओगे तो इसका एक साधारण सा तरीका है आप पेंटिंग कर सकते हैं गेल्वनाइजिंग कर सकते हैं कोटिंग कर सकते हैं पेंट से इनर्ट कोटिंग कुछ ऐसे हो सकती है तो कर सकते हैं तो ये सारे मेजर्स हैं इसको प्रिवेंट करने के लिए सो so, जनरली अगर आपको एग्जाम में आए तो तीन चार पॉइंट्स आप लिख सकते हैं कि लाइक टू प्रिवेंट द कोरोजन वी कैन डू गेल्वनाइजेशन वी कैन डू कोटिंग वी कैन डू पेंटिंग विथ ऑयल पेंट्स एंड ऑल वी आर मेकिंग द सर्फेस इनर्ट passivation and all like lots of process are there so these uh, process are there for corrosion i think this much was the topic for your uh, syllabus uh, for chapter number 1 and uh, chapter number 2 uh, that is what uh, acid and bases and salt we are going to discuss uh, in the next video note till then if you are having any doubt any difficulty you can ask in comment section as well as please do share like and subscribe this video Uh thank you so much for being such a wonderful audience